Welcome back to a half hour bullshit. I'm Daniel. And I'm Josh. And uh, yes, we are back with yet another half hour bullshit. Uh, you know the show, we like to break down the upcoming horror films coming out, and uh, we got ourselves, you know, very, very light episode. There's not a whole lot coming out this month. Thin. Very thin. Diet. Very thin. Uh, it's withering away right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we hope you guys have yourself a great 4th of July. we are uh, be broadcasting this uh, this Friday, so it'll be the first. So, hope you guys have a great 4th, but uh, movie-wise, you're on the way at least until the 15th, because the first film that we're going to bring up... Comes out July 15th, uh, called American Carnage, where uh, lawmakers have decided to uh, take all the children of illegal immigrants and throw them in jail. And a group get a deal cut where if they go help out this facility and help these old folks, kind of like a retirement home, I guess, uh, nursing home, whatever you want to call it, where old people go to die, uh, you know, they'll get their you know records you know wiped clean. However, once they get in there. Shit goes sideways. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and start this one off, uh, Josh. What did you think about this trailer? And uh, yeah, you can, so, you, you can stretch it if you want because we got a half hour fill with these two. Movies, so wow. So uh, with this trailer, with this trailer, with this trailer, I was trying to think of things that I could say about this trailer yeah. when I watched the trailer, and I watched the trailer from start to finish, which is already a bad yes. sign. I don't say you're usually a guy if you like something or even intrigued by the slightest, you'll usually shut it off. When you see something like American, you think of American graffiti, maybe. Yeah. You think of uh, American Mary. You think of uh, American Pie, American Psycho, American Pie, American Psycho. You know, good movies. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. However, so that's what I'll talk about. Better movies with the title American in it. Better movies with the title America. Or American. American. To be specific. Not American, buddy. It's American. I don't know. I just don't think it's for me. Uh, I hope it makes more sense in theaters. But the story doesn't make... Like, okay. It feels like two movies were put together because they're going for this horror story still. But it feels like they want to do the... the like social commentary, political social satire commentary. kind of thing, yeah. But like, not in a way that the two mix yeah. or like makes sense for this. I I don't know if it'll make more sense, but the trailer seems stupid. Yeah, it seemed like they didn't mesh the two things very well. But I mean, it's a trailer. You don't have much time. Let me ask you this real quick, uh, on topic but off. Um, from dusk till dawn, you know that's. One, and I wouldn't say criticism, but a lot of people will talk about how uneven that feels because the first half of the movie is the bank robbers trying to get away with this robbery, and then the second half is literally just vampire film. Now, did that well, work for you? No, that's, you think that it's worked? not really the second half. It's the it's the climax and resolution. But still, yeah. But did that work for you though? I mean, did that? Yeah, because okay. it's a twist and and it's a new location. I don't know. And the story makes sense. That's what I'm saying. Maybe this makes sense. Yeah. But just for the trailer. Like why yeah. suddenly it's a horror okay. suddenly it's a horror movie. They're doing this and so you're because, not they, that because they go that. to this house, mm. suddenly it's a horror house. And I just don't understand why. Yeah. Like you'll just have to earn it. That's all I'm yeah. saying. I don't know if they will, but the trailer didn't do it for me. The trailer <laughs> no. put me in a spot where I'm just like I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like it. I didn't I didn't find any of the any scary moments? Mm. Or it just seemed kind of low budget. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it'll be great. Best maybe it'll, maybe be, it'll be your wow movie of the year. Be Best the... movie ever, maybe. Like, Best David, movie ever, David maybe. Lynch, who? Yodorowsky, who? Fucking American Carnage all the way. I mean, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> it's, you're maybe saying it's a possibility. Maybe I'm being incredibly harsh. Maybe I'm just being incredibly harsh because it was a bad trailer. Yeah. Maybe someone edited the trailer wrong. I, I hope. I hope it does. I hope it does. You're just like I, I want you to eat your. Words. I'll eat my words. Eat on words it. I'll eat my shit on this one. <laughs> Give it to me there with a is. fork and a knife, and I'll eat it. If, eat if it. I if I watch this and I'm like, wow, <laughs> dazzled you. Listen, the thing is, this movie is this trailer was so, and I'm making so many statements about it that. 
I would probably go out of my way to watch it to make sure that I wasn't just being a dick. Yeah. To prove that, you know, I'm giving it a fair chance. I'm trying yeah. to give it a fair chance. Because I, I, and I, with that, it'll probably result in me paying nineteen ninety nine premium price for a movie that I will watch one time <laughs> that I will not like because I've done it before. I will do it again. Now, does that be that kind of add to the cons, like when you have to pay that much to watch it no, just one time? Ever, no, 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 because it's an experience. Mm. And there's fair. something to learn from every film. They, they're trying to make a good film whether or not I like it. Yeah. And I there will be people who like it. So with all my negativity and my grain of salt, whether I like it or not, there will be people that like it. So I hope. It's just maybe not my movie. Here's what I'm hoping is that you fucking love this movie, but everybody else hates it. They're just like, what the... Like, literally, the trailer is a misdirect on every better. level. I would be into that idea completely. I would understand it, and I would be like, wow. Thank you, God, for delivering this film to me. And like I said, I will probably go out of my way to make sure that I watch it. Fair enough. Fair enough. So that I know that I'm not just being unfair. I, um... Like you, the trailer didn't really do it for me, but I I don't know. We're, we're talking werewolves, right? Like that's who these old people are. Werewolves? I don't know. It, the, the trailer you just got glimpses of like, like ghost, old people like, shaking and then I, no no the, no 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 possessions possessions. Did you the the one guy flips over and is like smiling weird? And, okay, so I don't and walking remember. like an exorcism. Watched it yesterday. Don't even remember. Yeah, that. see. So, so he paid less oh, yeah, that's right. Than yeah, because he had that. Um, it's a ghost thing. It's not. Werewolves. What the fuck was the uh, the movie where basically a little girl does that? Okay, so it's not going. Oh, I mean, it's um, the exorcism. No, but, but no, there's a movie in the 2000s where this girl does that, but her head spins completely around. So she looks like I don't know. It looked weird. And that was like the highlight of that. Like, what everybody talks about in that movie. They're just like, yeah, but that one scene, I mean, the rest of the movie sucked, but that one scene where that girl did the, you know, thing. Right, but you're right. It, it's literally a ripoff of The Exorcist. But, um. I mean, no, I wouldn't say that this is a ripoff of that. No, 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 but that, that dog thing. Nah. Like, as soon as you said that, I remember, like, yeah, that's right. I do remember that. Um. But so, again, if, you know, if we're dealing with werewolves or possession or whatever, you know, it's like. All right, I feel like that's gonna be the whole thing. Like, I don't think these characters are that likable. Like, even though we're supposed to be rooting for them, because like you know they're just kids of immigrants, they're getting thrown into this thing, they're caught in the crosshairs of this political whatever. When they had any scene that's supposed to be like comic relief in the trailer, it just did not come off funny to me. Yeah, at there were some riff jokes, and I'm like, is this? Yeah, I don't feel like they're leaning into the the camp. Yeah. Enough to justify the jokes. No, agreed. And so, right off the bat, I'm like, I don't like the characters. You know, so that's strike one. The only girl I recognize, I didn't recognize anybody in this, but the girl that Jenny Otega, she was in a Scream, the newest one that just came out, and then she did uh, Ty West's film X, which, uh, I don't know, not saying I recommend it completely, but it was it was different. Either way, she's got like a little bit of a Scream queen right now, and even if these are not great films she's getting into... I just like I, I will always give props to those who will you know try to stick you know in horror as much as they can. I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty because you look back at Scream when it came out. It was, they were campy horror movies. They were very and self They definitely the, had, they made you know, money, and because it's a franchise, they now have this esteem at least to us. Yeah, yeah. No, you're so right. even being in a couple stinkers, it may Which, end up being a franchise. But you know. To be fair, I really like the new Scream films. I didn't really see it as a, you know, like a, you know, even though... Oh, but I do not want to see the new one. Part 6 when Scream takes Manhattan? No. Yeah. Okay, so Sydney's not going to be in it. Yeah. Which, Who honestly, cares? I, yeah, I, I was okay with that. That did not bother me because I feel like in this last one, her story arc completely wrapped. Like, no, but she's her... only not in it because they didn't pay her enough. Uh, that's, that's, that's business. I don't no, care about that. No, oh, but be, the other actors are saying she wasn't paid like it. She wasn't getting a fair offer. Like she was getting. I always say, don't get wrong. Over. I love me some Sydney Prescott. I love me some Bev Campbell. So I mean, you're she, right. She's I, the she got, lead. She got fucked. But she's at the, same the time, only actress that's consistent. With part four, which I absolutely hated, it was like she was unwilling to pass that torch on. Is what it looked like to me. It was all about her. This is the first time where I felt like we actually have a good group of surviving kids that I wouldn't mind watching the sequel to, and. 
this is the first time where it really felt like the older generation finally did kind of pass that torch. And I, I was cool with that. So whenever I was like, oh my God, I can't do it about sitting. like, no, we can. We really can. I'm not saying it'll be good or bad. I mean, that's yeah, whatever. Yeah, like Dewey and what's the point? Eh, well, we'll see. I don't but... care anymore. I'm out. <laughs> you're out. But uh... if you're not going to give me anything from, because she's just, okay. If we're saying, let's hang up the phone for a while, come back later, Sydney. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. But if it's like, we're done, you, I'm looking at Halloween mm. really bored and wondering why they're still doing movies with someone who well, should not be fighting in that's, a, another geriatric That's the whole monster. thing. Like, I mean, Halloween how do you bring her back? Halloween means a reboot. A a full get, get one. Give it, give it time. He'll get one. My just, God, they just restarted not. like several times already. So no, but these these sequels are terrible. I like. I always like no, your don't. interpretation of reboots and different timelines. That it is all set in the same universe. So I, I just keep praying. Like you know, we'll open one of those timelines back up at some point. We'll go back to what really works. But you know, for right now, let them do this awful tangent that they're on right now. So Man, what if they did go back to like? Uh, Go What's back it? to part What's six. Don't no, go back no, to Buster no. Rhymes. I won't go back to part. Oh, Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. Oh, I'll be down. Oh, heartbeat. That'd be cool. I'm, yeah, that's I'm cool a fan. That. I'm a fan of the movies. I like his two films. So you know, it's. I feel so terrible for saying this. I really like Halloween, pretty well. Mm-hmm. Up, Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yeah. Up until the point where it's like, he's older. Okay, so you like the first part of the movie, but then yeah. the... I swear. I like all the young stuff. I feel like that's a pretty cool story. Then it kind of falters. And then the second part, I just do not give it. Like, part two, I don't give a shit. I I'll be honest with you, and I might just go jump on a bandwagon. I didn't like it the first time I watched it. I mean, I went mm-hmm. almost a decade, probably, with just saying, fuck I don't even remember it. And then I bought a four-pack, and it was just in there. It was a random four-pack. It was like Bram Stoker's Dracula, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein... I forgot the other and one. Rob and then Rob Zombie, Halloween. well, Halloween too. So it was like, what do you mean, like, Halloween, Halloween one? one? And so and I was, two. oh, it's Underworld, uh, Underworld, and then that. And Probably so I was Rise just like, no, it was actually part first oh, okay. one. And so, anyways, I was like, I mean, you would think with the petty girl. <laughs> well, so I was like, well, fuck it, I'll buy this. And it was a theatrical version. And as a thing, like, I don't know, Rob Zombie, when he did the uh, director's cut, which I didn't care for, it went a totally different direction. And I, just, I wasn't feeling it, but. Theatrical is what I watched, and when I rewatched it, I was like, fuck, like, this isn't that bad. And then I watched it again, and then I was like, fuck, this is a good movie. I think it's more brutal, and I don't care. I like homeless Michael Myers. Fuck off. Everybody's like, the mask, who gives a shit? At least he's giving us something different. I guess we'll just keep photocopying the same. We'll do what, said, we'll do what Gus Van Sant did with uh, Psycho. We'll just do it shot for shot. Just uh, whatever. So... Back to American Carnage, though. Uh, so, anyways, like you, I just I wasn't thrilled with the look of the movie. I didn't care for the characters. I liked one actress, and again, it's just like I don't know. They're not tugging at my heartstrings with this political stuff either, so I don't care about that. Especially with these unlikable kids. Like, it'd be, it'd be different if these kids were actually likable, but they're not. So, I don't know. To me, it just seems like, uh, and so that's where I'm gonna leave off with American Carnage. Uh, that comes out July 15th. Moving on, though, on the 22nd of July, we got the new Jordan Peele film, Nope, where UFOs come to a small town, weird shit happens. That's all you need to know. In fact, I didn't even say any of that. I should have just been like, Jordan Peele's new movie. And that's it. Uh, fucking pumped. Hyped beyond recognition here. I just feel like it's going to be great regardless. I don't know. He has not disappointed me as a director yet. Uh, I know he's only done two films, but both of them fucking solid. And uh, I don't know. Only thing I can think of is if he plays it... Because when you go back and watch uh, Get Out... Well, really, see, Us is still pretty straightforward as well. I mean, the narratives are straightforward. It just, you know... It reveals stuff throughout. I feel like what's going to happen with this is, is he may lose that art house crowd. I feel like it's going to go straight, almost sci-fi horror. And I feel like the art house crowd is going to be like, eh, this wasn't as artistically pleasing or you know storyline pleasing as his first two films. And that's where... Yeah, but there's nothing crazy about the stories. Oh. Oh, his first one, I was thinking. No, no, I, I, I don't think that story was that crazy. I, I thought it was predictable. 
but it was good. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying it's not a good movie. I'm saying mm-hmm. it was just somewhat predictable. The yeah. second one, I don't remember the trailers revealing. Oh, no, the trailers kind of revealed everything with the whole doppelganger mm-hmm. thing and everything. I don't think they're they're not like complex movies. I just think they're good. Yeah, no, they're damn good. I mean, that's the thing I, I love about it, is Jordan Peele out, has already established himself as a master of horror. Yeah, two films uh, in horror. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I think just like storytelling. No, I don't, I, I'm not scared. Well, None of these feel remember horrific. horror is subjective. I know, but these don't feel horrific. Yeah. These just feel kind of like. Now the body counts. Let's think about this. Now, let's be honest. He has went on record with both films and called him horror. I know. But okay. This is the same. I don't consider him a king of horror. Oh, see, I, when I, I think about, it, I think of him in a different category of movie because I don't think of him as horror. Movie. I mean, unless if he literally they're tanks. like they're like drama thriller. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that much of a a side turn. With this sci-fi, I'm actually excited because I feel like, in my head, the second to third act mm. is going to go fucking be bonkers. Pretty fun. So I think, I think it, we're going to get something a little bit more than just typical sci-fi. Pew pew. I don't want to see the first half almost. <laughs> well, it's got a really good cast. I love. I cannot pronounce his last name, so I apologize in advance. The guy from the first Get Out or from Get Out. Uh, oh, he's back. Daniel. Kaluuya, something like that. But then Kiki Palmer is his sister, and I liked her from uh, Sorry to Bother You. thought she did really good in that. She did something else, so I'll be honest with you. I cannot think of her right now. I didn't do my research, because we go into this thing fucking dry. Uh, so, but I like both of them. And then, um, oh, fuck, Glenn from Walking Dead, uh, Stephen Yoon, something like that. He's yeah. in this as well, and I really dig him. Now, I was not a Walking Dead fan, but I, he's also in Sorry to Bother You, and he also did uh, Mayhem, which is fucking awesome. So, Fun fact, I watched Walking Dead mm-hmm. until his character died, pretty much. I would retell this, actually. I yeah. watched a little bit after it, and it lost all of its magic. You went further than I did. I, I got through season one. And I, I tried. Yeah. Oh, second season's terrible. Everybody said, and I literally... I waited rarely... on the budget to come in or something. <laughs> I do not know. Yeah. It's like they were like, wow, we have a hit. Cool. Or they're pocketing that money. They're just like, here's all that money. And they're like, what money? <laughs> we didn't turn a profit, so you're going to have to make the season work. What? Figure it out. Figure it out, guys. Mm. So. Rough. But like I said, seeing the trailer here, I'm pumped for it. In fact, uh, so this year I, I, I have a kid. Uh, I think only went, I can't remember what I went to the movies for. A child. Yeah. Uh, an infant. Toddler, yeah, a little, 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 little squirt running around here. When you'll see Death on Nile, Angel picked it. Don't judge me. Uh, Terrible. Movie. Fair, fair enough, there was nothing else playing at the time, though, so it wasn't like we, because we were going to watch Scream, and it was already out theater by the time we got in there. But uh, this one we're going to make the exception for. We're going to babysitter. I want to see Nope on the big screen. I feel like that's the only way to watch this thing. So nope. I want it, it feels like an event. It feels like an event film, so I definitely want to be, you know, front and center on that. So, Well, I feel like it's the type of movie to watch anyway. That's true. But it probably would be best on the big screen. Absolutely. So before, I know you want to talk about some... Uh, oh, so I guess uh, we both agreed American Carnage, not really our film. You may check it out. I think Angel's want to watch it, so I'll probably end up seeing it. Uh, but nope, we're both pretty solid on that. We want to see it. I liked... Um, there's a part of me that aches for trailers that... The first couple trailers that came out for Nope where you couldn't see anything at all. Yeah. And you had no idea even... You only saw only you almost only saw glimpses of people for like a second reacting to something. Yeah, I want to see more of that and less of like I feel like there's been some conversations in the trailers mm-hmm. and stuff. I don't want to see that anymore. Yeah, and I agree. I kind of like that that it was like I have no clue what this is going to be about, but now it's become more and more apparent what maybe the goal is. So I'm hoping that the twist is still hidden really well instead of the entire movie being more of a lead up to one CGI monster at the end. 
You know what you think it's gonna boil down to? Just I a Cloverfield not. monster just popping out. Well, not even a big one. I'm saying just a like monster. Like I'm, I'm uh, not saying monster is in size. Okay, saying, gotcha. Like not a gigantic monster. See now, I, I want this to be a, a hidden Cloverfield film. Now you, you, you wouldn't you that fuck be nice? It. Oh, it'd be fucking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. I love all three Cloverfield movies. I think they're all awesome, and I don't care if they were literally taken from our scripts. Well, guess what? They made it better by adding the Cloverfield monster. Could we get a Jordan Peele uh, Static Shock movie? Is that crazy? <laughs> is that a crazy request? No, I don't think it is. Putting it into the universe, willing it right now. There you go. Like you'd be the only one to handle that. I uh, but no, I, I, in that. I'm definitely down for this film. Um, so yeah. If you guys watch any of these before the next episode, drop us a comment. Let us know what you guys thought of them. Uh, I know you want to talk about Jurassic World. We're going to get to it. But before, I'm just curious. Did you watch anything from our last batch of films? Did you uh, eventually watch Doctor Strange 2? Yeah, I did. Give us your brief uh, rundown of that. I think the entire talk and buzz of it was a little wrong. Mm -hmm. They kind of hyped it up as being this huge cameo thing. But I won't lie, when I saw certain cameos, I was like, wow, okay, I'm pretty I'm pretty, pretty stoked on the idea of this at all. Okay. But, you know, uh, I was happy that it was a Sam Raimi movie, and it all worked for me. That was a good, a really solid Marvel movie. Ah. And a little bit different, Very, I think very different than the regular formula. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna doubt you watched anything else, but I'll go through it anyways. Did you ever watch the Twin? I don't know. Firestarter. No, I tried to, but then I never did. So uh, I was able to watch Firestarter. Uh, I'll tell you right now, way better than the first one. But remember, I didn't care for the first one. Yeah, and I liked the first one. Uh, my only thing about this movie was it looked good. It wasn't too bad. It stayed pretty close to the book. But then they veer so left at the end. And honestly, and this is my same gripe, and it holds up even before I watched it, was it just felt too much like a superhero movie. Like, I'm watching the superhero origins, and I just didn't care for it. The funny thing was, they left it open to franchise. They were wanting to do a TV series or a movie after this, and the fact that this got, like, horrible reviews means we're probably not going to happen. And I'm just like, well, that's what you get for fucking trying to make the next X-Men or whatever the fuck you were trying to make. Um... So but, was there like multiple superheroes showing up? Or was no, it just well, like they, no, story? but uh, without giving too much away, because you know the young girl survives. Give it I mean, away, give it away, give it away. But no. uh, the person she kind of teams up with at the end also has power. And, I mean, you remember there was more people than just one person that was experimented on. You know, but she hooks up with someone who has powers, and so and it seems almost like you know. That's gonna be the story now. It's like whenever there's evil in the world, they'll be there to you know stop What's the injustice. The other power? I don't even remember. He had like telekinesis or some fuck? shit. It was useless. It was. Fucking Did he watch the movie? Superhero. Sure player. shit. If he knows. <laughs> don't, now, don't listen to a word he says about a review because he doesn't remember what power is. Now are. maybe what? telekinesis. Maybe telekinesis. Maybe maybe flu. She had pyrokinesis. Maybe uh, they all had multiple. She had multiple powers in this one too. That was the other thing. What it's multiple just, powers? Uh, she, she was psychic, she was fire, she could move shit. What the fuck? Like, she had a combo. Both her parents were both, you know, magic or whatever, so she was able to be like, I can do everything. I don't remember that. Yeah. Well, guess what? I only watched the original. Maybe, 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 I only watched the Maybe movie. this one will spin maybe off and you can watch the, the, the new series when they try to... I did watch comic. Firestarter 2, though, so... I feel like I'm more equipped to talk about Firestarter well, I'm glad class. I didn't take a drink there. I would have fucking lost that right there. <laughs> Firestarter 2 was great, besides Drew Barrymore <laughs> not coming back. Um, as I was always talking about this one was, I thought the performances were pretty good. Like, better than I thought. Like, I really did go in with, like, But you low. still can't be a Drew Barrymore. As, like, she was no, she's a great actress. Not only is she a great actress, she has great screen presence. Like, yeah. you can literally give her a crap script, and it's like, it don't matter. She's Drew Barrymore. And she was a child. Yeah, yeah. And, and when child actors... Well, there was a golden era of children mm. acting, but there's also some... Fucking stinkers yeah. out there. Um, the Innocence? No, nope, didn't watch it. And then the last one was Men. Did you ever watch it? Nah. I kept trying to. I'll be honest right now. I tried to pirate the shit out of that. And those cock goblins. He's trying not to support it. This um, is a piece of shit. So, Jurassic World, go ahead and give us your rant. Or, sorry, Jurassic, Jurassic World, World Dominion. Was, Dominion was bad. It was a bad movie. Believe. The reviews. Don't go waste your money, because I did. I went to the theaters. 
I don't know. I didn't expect it to be good. Mm. But then I sat on my phone and texted, and like oh. I got on Amazon. <laughs> Um, Buy the original Jurassic Park trilogy three pack, you know, on DVD or it's Blu-ray. A, it's or a 4K. mids 2006. By mids, I mean it's a middling. Yeah. Oh, pro- gotcha. Product. It's very middling mids. It's straight up mids, yeah. and it's just a mids action film from 2006. Yeah. And uh, they threw some dinosaurs in there with some CGI. Feels like dinosaurs were definitely the afterthought. <laughs> And See, anytime just, that's the case, I'm just over it. See, I was really hoping we was going to get more just dinos causing Dino chaos. Artists. Yeah. Because, I mean, they promised that in Fallen Kingdom, and they did not deliver. All of these bullshit names can go fuck themselves. From the beginning, they've called this Jurassic World. Mm-hmm. I've yet to see fucking Jurassic World. Yeah. There's yeah. not a Jurassic World. Are we planning a fourth one or a fifth one? Eventually, I want to get to the point where there's some fucking dinosaurs everywhere. Just rampaging. No, but, I agree. Because we've seen... We saw more dino rampage in the first Jurassic World movie mm-hmm. than any of these. Oh, a really? lot of people died. Mm-hmm. A lot of people getting eaten by dinosaurs. And just a lot of dinosaur per minute. Yeah. Like, there was more dinosaurs than that. Dinosaurs should not be the afterthought in a dinosaur movie. I agree. I go back to Jurassic Park and I think, wow. It's all about dinosaurs. It's a dinosaur it's movie. Yeah. It's a dinosaur movie through and through. And all of them are. And I think about, like, the raptor thing in the third one. Um, the T-Rex being the focus in the second one. Yeah. So it's, they all have their different focuses, but I don't know. This new new big dinosaur that they were fighting was stupid. Uh, the stupid long nails were stupid. I'm just not into it. Uh, what about the subplot of uh, Grant and... Uh, uh, the clone? Oh, yeah. The clone's silly. It was silly in the last one, and it's silly in this one. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it didn't get better over time. It didn't marinate with me. They didn't justify it, because I feel like they sat there and were like, can I do this? I don't know. I don't need someone to be a clone for me to relate to dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are just awesome. Yeah. I feel like they constantly have to justify why dinosaurs in the movie. And it's like, nope, don't need any justification. Yeah. But even when the dinosaurs were on screen, like I said, it's an afterthought. So the dinosaur scenes weren't even good scenes. They weren't. That's unfortunate. I really was. Uh, I, I'm still looking forward to it. And I think, honestly, I'll probably like it more than you. Especially you now, because you won't? when people lower the bar, I tend to go nope. and think, like, fuck this film. I said the same thing going into theater. I think I'll walk out slightly uh, entertained. You walk by out. It. He's going to pirate it. <laughs> walk out of the theater. He doesn't pay for movies. <laughs> I'm paying for Jordan Pills. Nope. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah. He says that now, but he's going to end up pirating it. Someone's going to get up midway through it. You're gonna walk through the screen oh, and be like, ah, fuck it, I don't care. Fuck this movie. I can't pay for it. Ugh. I got a kid now. Can't yeah. pay for movies. Can't pay for movies. I got steal. Got resort to steal. You know, most fathers will still bread for their family or eggs. I'm just steal movies. That's the kind of father I am. Father of the year over here. People. Hey, you wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> wouldn't steal a car. Wouldn't steal a DVD. You know, wouldn't steal a purse. So why are you pirating movies? Yep. You pray. <laughs> you ever see the Boondocks episode where they're showing that on the screen? And it's just like they're just gang mugging this old lady like sought the shit out of her and they're just like you wouldn't steal a purse but it's like it's the most extreme fucking I don't know it's fucking brilliant because the whole time they snuck in and they're illegally watching it and so like the one girl they bring has a conscience is just like this is wrong <laughs> we're, do- we're basically just mugging that old woman right there <laughs> it's awesome uh, hey the movie's worth it I'll buy it on DVD I don't think I saw any other movies that were worth. Oh, I rewatched uh, the Phantom Menace. Sorry. After watching the Obi Wan TV series, very happy with that. Very happy with Phantom Menace. Still, I I am a huge prequel lover. Always have been. It's the most Star Wars that Star Wars is ever. Star Wars. He he ain't lying. As long as I know this guy, he's been praising the prequels. Prequels. So. I mean, not that I like them more. Yeah, but, but you still like them. I I like them just as much. Yeah. They're as every bit of Star Wars. There's no is, asterisks next to them. Nope. You're just like, nope. I enjoy these on the same level. I, I Star I Wars. Like Star Wars is Star Wars. I even put a lot of passes on the Star Wars properties that are not good Star Wars properties. 
Uh, you know, I, I wish I was a sci-fi fan. I wish I was a superhero fan. Because this is like the golden age of fucking Star Wars and Marvel. And I just... The ship has you already sailed. Stargate on the, back. <laughs> I got I mean, throwing Stargate for the right week. There. Well, I think we're uh, getting close to the end of the time here. Did end not? of time. My phone's on silent. So. Oh, no, there it is. Right there. I was focusing. We nailed it. We nailed it. Killed it. 30 minutes. 30 minutes of bullshit. Bullshit. So. You didn't think that we had all that planned, but <laughs> we did. We wrote every bit of that. That was a script. You're talking to gods over word here. Word for word. So, for Dane Archerson. And Josh. Well, we'll catch you next month. Get